So, with about a billion tires ending up in landfills around the world every year, scientists have created a new use for old tires. They're transforming rubber into a concrete strengthening product. The man with the answer is in the other box. Dave? You know, you probably saw me shaking my head when you started that intro. Did you? One billion tires are dumped each year. Yeah. Think about that for a second. And it takes hundreds of years for those tires to decompose. So it's kind of high time we found a way to recycle them, to reuse them. For instance, 11% of those tires are put in landfills. Now, there are 49% which are burned for fuel, which in itself creates an air pollution problem. So, scientists in Texas have found a new method of transforming all of this waste rubber into a substance we call graphene, which can be used to strengthen that concrete rustle. Okay, so here's what goes along with this. Something called a flash process, which it exposes the rubber to a jolt of electricity. Mm -hmm. And that jolt of electricity removes everything except the carbon atoms. Okay, now bear with me. The carbon atoms will reconstruct into this valuable graphene stuff, which you see in the bottom right hand yeah. corner, which they can now use and implement it with different substances such as concrete. So they can mix it with the concrete and they found that that process creates 30% stronger concrete. And really? now you've also eliminated some of that burning so you're helping the atmosphere out in general and you're making and creating less concrete, right? Because you're using some of the rubber from the tires, the graphene to make that concrete. So it all works out. Now, the problem is only about 50 to 60% of that kind of shredded rubber will work. But at least they've started this process of, of examining this. And I don't think you realize this, but you know, there are places like in Colorado, there's a place called Tire Mountain. And the, the, you know, the numbers awful. are all over the place, but it's between 30 and 60 million tires are there. Wow. Just dumped. And if here's a way to help to create concrete, which is one of the things that we make more than anything in this world, and help the pro you use less fuel to make concrete, less fuel to burn the tires by using this electricity to zap these carbon ion uh, atoms back into graphene. Now, out that wasn't too complicated because I mean the process is complicated but it can be done and it costs about one hundred dollars per ton wow. so that doesn't seem like it's too expensive to do no, not at all interesting. you know and very interesting yeah. and maybe can help deal with an ugly problem you got to get rid of these tire piles yeah. that is one of the largest problems we have as a society today okay, okay. all right thank you yeah.